Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to resize and compress images for your WordPress website for free. Okay, why is this important? This is important because it makes your website visually appealing to your visitors. In other words, it improves your visitors' experience. And at the same time, it reduces the page loading time, which is a direct ranking factor impacting SEO. In other words, uh, your website is going to be ranked higher by Google and other search engines. Imagine that you have lots of images on, uh, on your website, and these are very large images, so they are going to slow down your website. This is bad for your visitors, and this is bad for your SEO, search engine optimization. Okay, so we have a I have a, a, a testing website, Hiking Fun, and I would like to add a featured image to this particular home page. All right. So what I am going to do is I am, a, let's, this was from a previous, let's just go back here because I want to show you this from the very beginning. Uh, go to pexels.com and this URL is in the description below. Okay. And in this, so the Pexels uh, has uh, hundreds, thousands of high quality photos and they are free. So what I am going to type on the search bar, I am going to type hiking in this particular case, hiking and lots of hiking photos, all of them phenomenal photos. Let's just continue scrolling down to the one that I chose already. We are almost there, almost there. This is the one. So you click on the image. This page opens, as you see, I have already liked the photo. And then it says here, free download. And it gives you lots of options. Now, um, let's just go back to our, okay, our page here. This is a, a very uh, useful infographic. I took this from this particular article. You are most welcome to read. Okay, and it gives us the different uh, dimensions for the different uh, images. If it is a logo, if it is a background, if it is a featured image, portrait, or landscape. Uh, in my particular case, these are the sizes I use for a site icon, 512 by 512 pixels, logo, 128 by 128, and featured image, 1,200 by 675 pixels minimum, all right? So these are the sizes I use. Uh, let's go there. So on the free download, ideally, because we want, I'm looking for a featured image, a, the medium size would have been great because 1,280 by 862, okay? But let's go a bit bigger, one size bigger, because I want to show you how to resize the image. So let's choose. 1,920 uh, 1, by 1,293 and uh, download, select size. It is downloaded. I strongly recommend that you attribute. Okay, so you simply copy and then you, you, pa you paste uh, on, your, on, uh, on the relevant page or posts. So in, in this way, I mean, he, he or she is helping uh, us on our work. All we can do is uh, help them back a little bit by attributing okay great so what i am going to do now is let's go to our home page and i would like to edit this page okay wait a few moments the page opened and on the right side bar i scroll down to featured image set featured image and uh, let's go to media library Okay, I already have, have the image, but I want to show you how to do it. So you click on add new, and then you go to your file. And the one that we're looking for is the original one. Okay, one, one, if you hover over the image, it gives you the dimensions, 1919 by 1293. So click there and open, right? So the image, and it's there. All you do is click the insert button and the image appears here, and you click the update button. As simple as that, and then view page. And it should already be there on the page. Phenomenal. So this is our featured 
image. There's only one problem, and this image is quite large. Okay, so we want to resize this image. And uh, what I am going to do is click edit, and let's go to, this is a phenomenal website, I love image. Uh, again, the URL, I am going to add this to the description below. Uh, you can do, a, a, this website has many features. You can compress images, resize them, you can crop and convert it to JPEG and so on and so forth. So we are going to resize the image and select image. Let's go back to our file. And this is the original image and click open. So you have two options. One is you can resize by percentage. So you might say, well, I would like to have 50% smaller. Okay, but in this case, I am going to opt for by pixels. This is the size, it is too large. I, I want to reduce this to 1000, yeah, 200. And uh, I, we maintain the aspect ratio. So meaning that the height is going to be eight or nine, which is good because remember what I said, uh, the width must be a minimum of 1200 and the height must be a minimum of 675. So these are ideal. All I do now is I click on resize image and then I upload to I click on download resize image and it downloads and then you add onto your folder or file. This is, this is great. So let's, let's go back uh, to our okay, edit page. Let's go back here. The featured image, this is too large. So I am going to remove, or I could also click replace image. And let's go to the media library. And we have to add new. Now the one that we are going to add is, it says resized, okay? So you click there and you open. But if you do that, the image is still going to be too large. You have to compress the image. So how to do that? Well, let's go back to this phenomenal website, I Love Image. And all you do is you click on compress image. Then click select image. And the image that we want to compress is the one that we resized, right? This is the one. So click resized and open. And then you click compress image. It is now compressing. And in this particular case, the image was really very good it didn't have much to compress. It only compressed 8%. But in any case, 8% is better than nothing. So you download compressed uh, image. It is there, or, okay? And now we can go back and let's add new. And this one, the one we're looking for now is resized and compressed. So open, just wait a few moments. So this is the smallest size image that we can possibly add as a featured image. Remember, uh, must be a minimum of 1,200 by 675. So you click update again, wait a few moments and view page. And there is our featured image. And the quality is exactly the same as before, even though it has been resized uh, and has been compressed as well. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, and that's it. But I just would like to show you um, one more, one more point. And this is, let's, let's go back. Okay, and I can do this right here in this particular. All right, and last thing I would like to show you is, on the previous image, it was compressed by only 8%, but this is not the case on all images. Some images you'll be able to compress much more. So let's have a look. Let's go back onto compress image. We already there, compress image and select image. Okay, and let's go for this infographic. Okay, and open. And now I'm going to click compress images. And you can see that in this particular case, it saved 57%. Your image is now 57% smaller. All right, this is very important, folk. folks. First, resize your image if your image is very large. 
and then compress your images. Okay. If this video was helpful, would you please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Cheers.